Good morning. Yeah. So let me, let me start by saying I don't really care what Mark Twain said. This is great biking weather in this city. How about it? You know, the, the launch that we are having today builds off a vision that many of the people who are here behind me, in front of me, it's a vision that they had. And, and their vision was simple. They wanted to grow a small pilot bike share program into a robust regional transportation option. And even as we are here today, there are people out there on the streets of San Francisco putting out our bikes and going from 700 to 7,000 bicycles and bringing bike share to more places in San Francisco, San Jose, and to the East Bay for the very first time. Now, in my experience, this will be nothing short of transformational. And, and I think we will think back on this day and find it hard to remember how we got around the Bay Area before hopping on a bike was quick, convenient, easy, and inexpensive. And that's what this will be. Now, um, it takes a village, as they say, and it's taken a lot of organizations and a lot of people to be able to, to do this. I want to do some quick thanks. First off, to the board and the staff of the MTC under the leadership of Steve Heminger, to our partners at Ford and Alaska Airlines, to City National Bank, which is providing the financing to allow us to get this done, uh, to the elected leaders and all the staff that I have met through, through months and months of meetings in San Francisco, San Jose, Oakland, Berkeley, and Emeryville. And I want to give a special shout out uh, to, to a couple people, Ed Reskin from SFMTA, who will be speaking in a few moments, and Jillian Gillette um, from the San Francisco Mayor's Office. I don't think we would have got this done uh, without them. But let me be clear, this is not a project that has just been planned with government. Um, this planning process has involved literally thousands of local residents, it's involved local businesses, um, and it's involved incredible community partners. And I'm going to read off a list. I'm probably going to miss some people. I apologize. But, but listen to this list of partners that we've had. Transform, the San Francisco Bike Coalition, Bike East Bay, the Silicon Valley Bicycle Coalition, Bike Hub, Jobs Now, Goodwill, the SF LGBT Center, and Young Community Developers. And I'm sure there are many more than that. Um, and we are committed to sustaining and growing these partnerships. And now let me also give a shout out uh, to the tremendous team at Motivate and our local team uh, led by Emily Stapleton. Uh, we will be creating over 200 local jobs uh, in this area. These are jobs for mechanics, for technicians, for bike valets, for marketing staff, and more. And I will stay very, very clearly, every one of these jobs will pay above San Francisco living wage, and every one of these jobs will carry full benefits as they should. Now, this commitment to social equity that we have extends to every aspect of Ford Go Bike. When we started the planning process, everybody said that they wanted to be sure that Ford Go Bike reached to all parts of our community. They said that we want 20% of our stations to be in communities of concern. Here's the story. We haven't just met that goal. We've exceeded it. I will tell you today that 35% of our stations will be in communities of concern across the Bay Area. Moreover, it's going to be affordable to everyone. Uh, Low-income residents will pay just $5 for the first year, um, and they will have access to unlimited rides. And I think everybody here who is committed to this can feel proud of this and to say 
that Ford Go Bike will be the most equitable bike share program in the United States of America. And finally, for those of you who know me, I'm a transit guy. And I believe that what we are doing with bike share is public transit. And there is no greater symbol of that than the fact that you will be able to take your clipper card and you will be able to walk up to a bike station, tap it to a dock, and take out a bike. This is public transit. So what happens? What happens from here? Today, we are celebrating 7,000 bicycles. That is wonderful. But no, we don't stop there in the way that we think about this. We should continue to be thinking about how we make bike share bigger and bolder and even more expressive for, for this region. I've had hundreds of meetings around the region, and I have a note that sits on my desk from one of the meetings that I had. And somebody wrote me a handwritten note back to my office in New York. And it said, Dear Jay, I love the idea that we'll have 7,000 bikes, and I'm looking forward to working to find how we get to 70,000. Now, that kind of idea may have seemed crazy just a little while ago. But I don't think it's crazy to think that we can continue to grow, expand, and be bigger and bolder and a stronger and stronger part of this region. And I'll give you one more thought about what it takes to be able to do this and what we're doing. I will today tell you that we will be incorporating pedal assist electric bikes into Ford Go Bike, and that will roll out in 2018. And this will make this program even more accessible to more and more people in our community. So let me wrap by saying this. I think what we are starting today is showing the world the way bike share should be done. It is planned with communities for communities. It is planned with safety, equity, and affordability in mind. It is planned to have a scale that is going to have real impact here. And I have no doubt working with all of you working with the vision that you've put forth and that I'm happy to say that we're executing today, that bike share will be a tremendous success in the Bay Area. Thank you. So now um, I have the privilege of, of introducing some of our other speakers. Um, and I'm going to start um, with the MTC. Uh, let me be clear about this. I do not believe that we would be standing here today if the MTC had not doubled down on bike share. Jake McKenzie, MTC Chair, and Ronart Park Mayor. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Jay. This is an exciting day. I'm here to tell you and to elaborate a wee bit on talking points that I've been given by faithful staff. This is where John Goodwin over there blushes because he's responsible for the talking points. I'm responsible for mangling them. <laughs> public transportation, public transit, connectivity, intermodality, whatever you want to call it. When I came in here today from the city of Runner Park, a thriving metropolis of 40,000, 50 miles to the north of here on the 101, I came in on the Golden Gate bus, the number 72. It gets me here, but when it drops me off, when it drops me off uh, right about uh, market and uh, battery around these parts, I don't have a bike to catch to go over to our building at 30, 375 Beale where we do our business. And it'll be a grand thing for me as I have become a senior, senior citizen proud possession of my clipper card with senior on it to be able to become a member of this program because then instead of having to stop every five minutes to rest my weary um, peripheral artery diseased legs I'll be able to get on a bike and I'll be able to bike right over to 375 Beale that's what I'm looking forward to and when the smart train starts running in this month I'm looking forward to getting the smart train to San Rafael and the ferry coming over here to the ferry building and there'll be a bike here and I'll be able to get on that bike and I'll use my clipper card and I'll bike over to 375. 
That's what this program means to me. These were not in Goodwin's talking points. These are my talking <laughs> points. We now get to the meat of the subject here. Introduce yourself as MTC chair and runner part mayor. That's who I am. This is a big day for bike sharing in the big area. In the Bay Area, it's a big day for us as well. We've been involved, and we've also been involved with a, an organization that hasn't been mentioned: the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. But for us, Alex Bockelman. Uh, hey, is Alex still around or did? Ah, there you go, Alex. I always like to embarrass Alex because she blushes nicely when I praise her to the skies, and she should be praised to the skies for her involvement in this program. And there's two folks from the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, Karen Scholnick and Patrick Wenzinger. I think I got their names right. They're ones who should have a special shout out. We did finalize two years ago a contract with Motivate to operate and expand the original pilot. And I now know from having listened carefully to Mr. J that we were going to locate at least 20% of the new bikes and bike stations in lower income communities. We now know 35% and doing better. So that's a grand thing. And thank you. <clears throat> and that led to the partnership with Ford. It did, and so that's why we're doing the Ford Go Bike launch event. That's brought us here today. This is a long-time priority of our organization, the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. My political career started as Runner Park's first chair of the Bicycle Advisory Committee. That was forced upon us at that time by MTC, who said, if you want to get monies to improve your bike paths and stuff, you got to have an advisory committee. You got to have a bicycle master plan. This goes back to the 1990s. We are involved. We're invested. We support. And as you can tell today, MTC is fully behind uh, this program. It's a big step forward today advancing this program. Wind up and conclusion, you'll be relieved to know. Another of MTC's goals is to make sure I get out of here in time to run this morning's commission meeting. So when you see me vanishing slowly on foot to, so that John Goodwin can drive me back to 375 Beale, that's because we got to start our meeting on time. Otherwise, my fellow commissioners will be unhappy. So we're on schedule. Probably not. I probably went over my time. But anyway, thank you all for being here. Thanks for all the hard work. Thank you, Motivate. Thank you, Ford. Thank you, all of the cities. Let's go do this. Get on your bikes. I'm glad I don't have to follow that one. Um, but Ed Reskin does. Uh, <laughs> Ed, Ed is the, the, the director of SFMTA. Uh, he is Mr. Transit in this city. Uh, he is a friend of biking, and he's a friend of mine. Ed. Thank you, Jay, and yes, yeah, sorry that I have to follow Jake, but uh, delighted to be here on behalf of San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, the San Francisco MTA Board, my bosses, uh, to mark what is really a landmark day for transportation in San Francisco. Bicycling is the fastest growing mode of transportation in San Francisco by far, uh, and that's made up of a lot of different elements. There's a, a lot of infrastructure and improvements that we at the MTA uh, with our partners in the city have been putting in the ground to make biking safer and more attractive for, for more people. Uh, we have a great number of private bike rental companies uh, that provide rides to uh, lots of folks around the city. A lot of people have their own bikes, but we also have what has been a very modest but successful bike share program in San Francisco. And why today is so important is because today marks the day that we take that, build on that success, and really blow it out of the water, increasing bike share in the region by tenfold <clears throat> here in the city by something like 13-fold. By the end of this year, we'll have five times as many bike share bikes in the city, uh, ultimately going from 350 to 4,500 bikes. And the reason that that's so important is because that's such bike, bicycling is such an important complement to the overall sustainable transportation system in San Francisco. And this expansion of bike share uh, will take our, our modest foray into bike share for the last few years and really bring it out to so many more people, to so many more neighborhoods. Uh, the aspect of equity that Jay spoke about and that 
uh, Jake spoke about. I, I can't, uh, can't overstate how important that is to make uh, bicycling, which is one of already the most affordable and cheapest ways to get around the city, more accessible to more people. $5 for an annual membership uh, for low-income folks in San Francisco and in the region, people who are participating in the Muni Lifeline program will have great access to bikes to get them to Muni or wherever else they need to go. More than a third of the stations being in low-income neighborhoods, really critical part of what the mayor and the Board of Supervisors uh, want us to focus on in terms of equity in our transportation system. So with this expansion, we'll be getting to more people, a sustainable, equitable means of, of transportation, a great day for this city. As, as Jay said, I think we'll be looking back at this uh, with, with uh, great fondness in the future, and, and hopefully we, we can go from 7,000 7, to 70,000. Uh, but this is really a, a great step forward today. I do want to thank uh, staff of, of the mayor's office, of Public Works, uh, County Transportation Authority, and particularly my staff at the MTA who have been working so hard uh, with Motivate, with MTC, with our other great partners in the region uh, to get us to this point today. I look forward to the ride, and thanks, everyone. Congratulations. Um, before I do the next introduction, I realized immediately that I, ha I have missed to acknowledge a couple of people. I wanted to acknowledge that Port Director Elaine Forbes is here. We've been working with the port um, on the siting of stations, very important for us, and Bart Director Robert Rayburn. And again, I think nothing uh, stands out more than the connections that will take place with bike share to parts of our public transit system, and I, and I love that in thinking about that. Um, the next speaker uh, is Jessica Robinson from Ford. Um, Here's what I will tell you. Uh, Ford has been a great partner to us, and we've been working with literally hundreds of people uh, at Ford to be able to make this happen. But I do not believe there is a single person who is more enthusiastic about this than Jessica. Thank you, Jay. That may actually be true. Um, Ford did not realize what a bicycle enthusiast they had hired uh, when I joined the team. Um, but thank you all for joining. Thanks to, to Jay and the entire Motivate team, mayors and uh, representatives from the MTC and the MTA. We could not be here uh, without the full support of the community. Uh, it's really exciting for me to be here representing Ford as we kick off the Ford Go Bike program here in the Bay Area. So why is Ford doing this? This is really part of our goal of becoming part of the urban transportation ecosystem. And here in San Francisco, biking is a fantastic way to get around, so we're thrilled to be part of that. In working together, um, we really are thrilled to be kicking off oh, excuse me, this new phase for, for Ford. Uh, one of the other exciting things for us is that Ford Go Bike is available um, by app, but we actually have spent many hours uh, integrating Ford Go Bike into Ford Pass, which is our consumer app. So whether you're a car owner or you are just meeting Ford for the first time with a mobility service, uh, we're looking forward to being part of how you get around in the cities in the future. So thank you all, we're thrilled to be here, and go ride a bike. Um, our next three speakers are from the, from the East Bay. Uh, first off, Mayor Jesse Aragon. Um, he is, uh, again, uh, enthusiast would be an understatement, and I'm proud to introduce him here today. Well, as Jay said, we are, we are psyched that bike share is coming to the East Bay. And uh, Berkeley, as we all know, has a long history of leading the nation in biking. It's the birthplace of some of our nation's first bike boulevards, and we are consistently one of the top cities for bike commuting. Uh, actually, according to uh, the 2014 uh, American Community Survey, Berkeley has the highest percentage of bike commuters for cities of a population of over 100,000 in the United States, and we want to increase that number. And so having bike share in our city will expand access to biking as a primary means of transportation for our citizens. And this builds on a lot of exciting developments that have happened in Berkeley this year. We passed our new bike plan uh, last month. We're implementing protected bike lanes throughout our city. Um, the bike plan that we passed last month seeks to create a low stress network of biking throughout Berkeley. And so the implementation of bike share 
uh, and the four go bike program in Berkeley and in the East Bay is really a critical step to increase the number of cyclists in our city. And um, certainly um, we're excited as well that we will be creating a regional bike infrastructure uh, with the integration of Clipper um, that people can go from point to point and use biking as a primary means of transportation. And that will go a long way in not only uh, increasing access to biking, but reducing carbon emissions and helping improve our planet. So uh, Ford Go Bike will, will help our city and our region, our state, achieve our goals to reduce private automobile trips and greenhouse gas emissions, promoting healthy and affordable transportation options for all. And having the strongest equity program in the nation, making sure that bike share is available to any Bay Area resident that wants to use a bike, including students, and many of our students at UC Berkeley will definitely take advantage of this new option. Um, it's really exciting that we have this program coming to the East Bay very, very soon. So as a car-free citizen myself, I actually don't even own a, I don't even have a driver's license. Um, I bike, I take transit, and I walk every single place I go. I'm personally excited to get on a bike and to use bike, uh, uh, bike share, Ford Go Bike, as a way for me to get around town and get around the East Bay. So thank you to Ford. Thank you to Motivate. Thank you to our city staff that worked with MTC and worked with Motivate to make this project happen. And thank you to Motivate for the robust public process that they did to engage stakeholders and public officials and citizens to decide where's the best place to put these bikes um, so they can best serve our community. So we're excited and we look forward to seeing bikes in the East Bay in the weeks to come. Thank you. And representing the city of Oakland, council member Dan Kelp. Thanks for all. Be, thanks to you all for being here. Appreciate it very much. I, I want to talk about four things, and I'll spend about 45 minutes on each of those things. <laughs> Why did people laugh? There's Mr. Clipper card, by the way. All right. When, 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 when I think about this program, this bike share program with Motivate, and thank you to Ford, thank you to MTC, thank you to all the cities who, and the city staff, Oakland city staff, everybody who's been involved in this, I think about transportation choices social equity, environmental benefit, and regional cooperation. And without all four of those things, I, I, I don't know if I would be here. Uh, but, but we have a lot of that. And Oakland, Oakland is a leader, has always been a leader for at least the past 15 years, if not more, when it comes to a bike network and a uh, number of people who get on their bicycles. In fact, we are first in the nation of all larger and medium cities in terms of the number of women commuters who use bicycles, first. Uh, and we are sixth, I think, overall. So we have, we have a lot of people who use bikes, bicycles going to and from work, and this gives people, especially people who can't afford to own a bicycle or have other challenges, this gives people who, could, who want to commute to work by bicycle or to run errands, this gives them that additional choice and a low-cost choice. And that brings me to, my, to the second thing, social equity. You've already heard that, that the cost, the, the monthly or initial year, the annual cost, will be, will be almost nothing. That allows people of all incomes to be able to including low incomes, to be able to access this extremely important service. Three, environmental benefits. Uh, we need to get people out of their cars. And uh, we see that the, more, the easier it is for people to commute to work, to get on their bicycle, if people feel safer, if they have more options to, get, to use a bike, those who can use a bicycle are more likely to use a bicycle. Not everybody can ride a bike, and not everybody can ride a bike all the time. But when you can ride a bike, you should have the opportunity and be encouraged to do so, and this helps make that more possible. And so when you get people out of their cars, you're reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting our environment, and you're getting good exercise to boot. So tremendous environmental benefits, reduction of vehicle miles traveled, that's one of the main reasons why we're doing this. Social equity, environmental benefit, uh, transportation choices, and regional cooperation. If someone was to rent a bicycle in Oakland, and they need to go to Emeryville, and they want to drop it off there, that's what they should be able to do, and that's what this program allows them to do. Emeryville, Oakland, Berkeley, I think we're going to add more cities in the East Bay over the next few years. We're, we're going to add more bicycles in the next few years. There are a number of reasons why this is a, an amazing program. We have a tremendous number of bike lanes already and a bike network in Oakland, and this helps to ensure that people actually use that bike network even more than they already are. So I want to thank all those who've been part of this. I want to thank uh, Motivate for the, the, the process they went through, and I want to thank all the current and future bike riders who are going to be using these bicycles and getting out of their cars to help all of us. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Um, we've just been joined by Supervisor Jane Kim, and I want to invite her up to say a few words. <laughs> Good morning, and it is really exciting to be here for something that we have talked about for many years, which is uh, a major expansion of our bike share network here in the Bay Area. And certainly here in San Francisco, where we are seeing a bu the bulk of the bike share um, stations come um, to San Francisco, it is incredibly exciting. We live in an increasingly congested region. Um, due to a lot of our successes, we are growing jobs, we are growing economically, but that also means that we have more cars on the road. And one of the best ways that we can combat this type of congestion, but also do something good for the environment, which is to reduce our carbon emissions, is by, by providing alternate forms of transit. And biking, I believe, is one of the most important and also one of the most affordable modes that we can put forward here in San Francisco and throughout the Bay Area to do our part to fight climate change, but also to reduce congestion for all of us and our neighbors. As someone who is a beginner cyclist and started cycling in their 30s, um, I have been committed to trying to be one less car on the road as much as possible, and I've been slowly increasing um, my bike mode share um, here in San Francisco. And it's certainly, it, it's certainly been helped by the fact that SFMTA, thank you, Ed Riskin, has put protected bike lanes by my house. So now I can bike safely to City Hall on 7th and 8th Street. And I, I really cannot tell you what a major difference that has made on my ride to work. But bike share is just gonna be another additional tool that I'll be able to utilize so that I don't always have to look for bike parking, which can be very hard to do. Um, but also, if I'm just out and about, I can add bike as a mode if I'm taking public transit around San Francisco. And actually, I'm a founding member. I joined two weeks ago. And I'm incredibly excited to be able to um, participate in the program. But having been able to use bike share in cities like New York and Washington, D.C. and London, it is really amazing I, what that program has been able to do in those cities. But also even more amazing that people are participating and taking out those bikes. And you can see that when you're out on the roads. So two things. Let's help reduce congestion so that everyone can move around more. But more importantly, this is such an important investment that we're making in our, in our climate as we reduce the number of people in their cars and put more people on bikes and on public transit. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, and our, our last speaker from, from the city of Emeryville, I'd like to introduce Council Member Ali Medina. Hi, thanks so much for having me here today. I'm pretty excited for Emeryville to shortly become, I think, the city with the highest concentration of bike share stations per capita. Haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure about that. We are small and we are, you know, sandwiched in between Oakland and Berkeley. So having an interconnected bike system is extremely important to us. And this is something we're really excited for. We know that our residents want this. We know that the workers in Emeryville want this. And we know that our small businesses want this. We also know this will take cars off the road, reduce emissions, and increase walk-ins to our local businesses. So we're really excited for all of that to be coming to Emeryville. I see this as a call to action for myself and my fellow civic leaders to improve our bike infrastructure, because while Ford and Motivate have done a great job of reducing barriers for using the system by making it economically viable for most people and reducing the geographic barriers, we still have infrastructure problems. There's a lot of people who do start biking later in life or are not comfortable biking on a lot of the pathways we currently have. And it's incumbent on us to make sure that we provide safe bike routes between all of these stations throughout our cities. And that's something that I'm excited to work on. I'd like to thank Ford and Motivate for giving us the bikes. If we build it, they have two wheels to ride it on. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you to, to all of our speakers. What an exciting day. What an exciting day.